We are now live, so keep your clothes on, people. All right, so I have the pleasure of being able to be one of the fabulous team members on Team Made that is going to take you through um, what is this crazy coaching thing about anyway. And I asked Mick to join me because I want you to get two, two perspectives, I guess. The first one is, of course, me, um, the person who seven years ago said, I think I'm going to try this. And Mr. Corporate America over here, who kind of thought I was crazy, but has always supported me in everything that I've done, and said, go for it. So um, you'll hear both of us chime in and um, kind of give you our two cents, and there's probably going to be a good chance we'll disagree on something, but, but we'll, <laughs> we'll behave. So um, um, this isn't going to be very long, and um, I do want to stress, um, which I'll remind you at the end, to reach out to the, the person that invited you here. Because if you don't get all of your answers, questions answered here today, I promise you they'll be able to help you find the answers that you're looking for. I just wanted to touch on a few things, a lot of misconceptions and the need that we have for both taking control of your life financially and also taking control of your life um, physically and how Beachbody can help you with both of those. <coughs> Ugh. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, introduce myself. My name is Melissa McAllister, and some of you will have um, an understanding when I talk about, um, you know, when I talk about my credentials, and some of you that aren't real familiar with coaching will be, what in the heck is she talking about? But first and foremost, I want you to see up at the top that um, I am a wife and a mom, um, here next to me is Mick. Um, we're high school sweethearts. We've been together for 26 years. Watch his face for me. Make sure he behaves. And we have a 21-year-old son named Tanner and a 19-year-old daughter, poor thing, right, um, um, who's in school right now. Um, I'm also a group exercise instructor. I have been for 17 years. And down there in that corner is um, some of this beautiful team and our logo up at the top. Now, I wanted to thank you so much for taking the time out of your time to join us for about 30 minutes, I think, to learn about this crazy coaching thing. I know from the outside, many people think it's just about selling workout programs and a protein shake. But we hope to share with you that it's so much more and it truly fills a fitness and financial void out there today. So I want to introduce myself, and I'm going to tell you just a couple of credentials. Um, the first one is I'm a two-time 15-star diamond coach, and that may mean absolutely nothing to you, but if I tell you there's only two of us out of 420,000 coaches, I hope that helps um, pick me up just a little bit. <laughs> um, we... Mick and I are um, multi-million dollar earners in Beachbody. Um, Team Made has been a top 10 coach for four years in a row, and um, we're sitting pretty right now for 2016 at number 11. So who knows, maybe it'll be five times in a row. And my why for starting this business seven years ago was that I wanted to bring Mick home, and we were able to accomplish that four years ago. Okay, now I promise I have a beautiful silver lining for you at the end of this presentation, but I did want to get a little bit deep in some things that I don't think enough people talk about. So bear with me, okay? <laughs> I think that's really important that we know this. Um, I know you've heard that this generation will be the first one that will not outlive their parents, right? Everybody hears that. Um, um, the health of this nation um, isn't looking really good. Um, but did you also know that economically, this generation will also not do as well as we did financially? If you've ever read the book or any book from Robert Kiyosaki, he's the guy that wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he says that the idea of going to school and getting a job is obsolete. 
There's no more earning a steady paycheck um, that worked for previous generations and it isn't working for people today. Times have changed, my people. Unemployment is at a high, yet we're still taught to be employees and earn that paycheck. But the annual household income is dropping. Food stamps have doubled over the past 40 years, and now we have the working poor instead of the middle class. The 40-40 plan is gone, and you can no longer go to school, work 40 hours a week for 40 years, and expect to be able to retire. It just doesn't happen. Can I say anything about that? You've been awfully quiet. I'm just letting you, you're, go, you're going for it. You're on fire. Um, so many things go through my mind as, as she's explaining this, and it's easy to see graphs and, and bars and everything, and a lot of this is information that we already know. I'm sure a lot of us are saying, yeah, we've heard this, and yeah, I know it's bad, and it's, it's definitely not a scare tactic, but um, we were just really, I feel like we were just really lucky um, you know, seven, eight years ago to be introduced to something like this because it's obviously becoming more and more of a wave. And it's not, it's not just Beachbody per se, but it's this, this way of life, which we're going to touch base on that too. Uh, but it, it's, it's an overwhelming desire for people to, everybody wants the way out, but we're just so scared to look at something that seems so totally different. So I beg of you to have your blinders off and, and just take this in because it was hard for me to do it seven years ago. When she told me about this idea, I thought she was freaking nuts. So now I'm sitting here by her side and allowing her to say, we're millionaires. So <laughs> hang in there. Okay. I would like to. <laughs> Next. Next. Okay. So, that's the one I want. That's the one I want. All right. Well, I personally worry about my parents. I don't know about you, but I worry about my parents. Um, the gentleman on that bottom right picture could very well be my stepdad, and it, it almost brings me to tears. Both of my parents are such hardworking people, and my mom being 62 years old and my stepdad being 71, uh, they're still working. Uh, they can't retire because they raised three children um, working in corporate America. And I, you know, hardworking, I, I think they were responsible and um, it, it's just, it's not working for them. Retirement today is really tough um, for seniors and I can't imagine what it's going to look like in 30 years um, when us some of you are young, some of you are a little older, but around 30 years um, when retirement is there for us, and can you imagine what it's gonna be like for our children? People are, today are trying to retire at the age of 65 with only $41,000 in assets, and that's just not possible. It can't be done. So um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, if you look at that chart that I have, we have young adults going to school and learning how to be employees <coughs> and earn that paycheck. And please know, we highly advocate that. Um, our daughter is in college right now, and I think college creates the best discipline in young adults. So I'm not saying don't go to college. I think it's very important. But even better yet, we have older adults um, who just aren't making enough for a living. And so what do they do? They go back to school in hopes to get a better and higher paying job by getting additional education. Uh, these and both of these people end up with a crap ton of student loans. If you see at the very top, the student average student loans in the U a crap load. Yeah, um, it's a trillion dollars. And when I put this together, um, I'm obviously naive in this area. I had no idea that you could write off student loan debt. It's I considered un unforgiven debt. Yeah. So I, bankruptcy, anything, and it, it's just it's climbing as an epidemic to be the, the the largest concern for individuals nowadays is that student loan. And I know I have some of you on here right now, and I'm thinking of one of you in particular that is trying so hard to pay off your student loan debt, and 
uh, up until a couple of days ago, I always thought in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> I didn't know you can't. So it's such a huge concern for me to think of all of 37 million Americans have student loans. That, that's a, a trillion dollars. I can't imagine the stress that you guys have to pay that off. And if you look at how many people are delinquent on those loans, it's mind blowing. So, I feel so sorry for the person who dreads going to work. They're sick to their stomach the first day of the week. They hate their alarm clock. They get a tiny glimmer of hope because it's Wednesday and it's hump day. And they scream at the top of their lungs, thank God it's Friday. And they live for the two days a week where they can be themselves and do whatever the hell they want. And they don't have to be around people they don't like. I want to help the person that works 50 weeks a year just to have two weeks of vacation. And for those people that can't go on vacation, what do they do? They are there. They're in a plastic bag. They, they, they do a staycation. <laughs> And they don't oh, no. go where they really want. No, they have no glasses on. Oh, hold on. There's always one, right? Hold on. One, honey, my glasses are in there. They're my Shoot. Can I have to eat out of all of this? I got it. Honey, listen. I don't hear my I really <laughs> If, some, if you don't have yourself muted, would you please mute yourself for me? It's going to take me too long to mute you. And somebody who came on late, I can hear you talking to your husband. Stop. Yeah. Okay. No, what was I? All right. So the average combined household income in the U.S. is $50,000. Not so bad. To reach the top 25% of income earners, Get my purse, please. No, I need it. Just get my purse. No, no, no. It's kind of a little bit funny, <laughs> but no. I'm sorry. Please stay with me. <laughs> stay with me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. We got this. Okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, that would be you and me actually in the background probably. It probably was us. Okay. I should probably leave that up just in case they keep going. Okay. Thank you guys. Almost there. Anyway, like I was saying, to reach the top 25% of income earners in the United States, um, but you have to make a household income of $90,000. Um, the top 10% is $140,000. The top 5% is $190,000. And the top 1% of all Americans make $380,000 a year annually. And I can sit here, we can sit here, yeah. and proudly say that there are a ton of coaches on this call right now that are in the top 10 of and one person. So how do you get there, right? How do you get there? Do you or your spouse have a boss that is willing to pay you that? Most likely not. So what do you have to do? You have to become your own boss. I thought you were going to kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's attractive. All right. So let me ask you this. Am I on the right side? I think I am. Let me ask you this. Why in America, where you can be anything that you want to be, would you give up that freedom to become a modern day slave? I know that's harsh, but it's the truth. Where we're told to stay quiet, be there every morning at 8 a.m., and you can't leave until 5 p.m., and you need to do only as you're told. Well, maybe you could open a franchise. You love frozen yogurt. You really, you, you, <laughs> vanilla. You really enjoy watching people eat it, and you think, I will open a frozen yogurt shop. Well, 
just to have the doors open will cost you between $200,000 and $300,000. I personally love Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but it would take me $500,000 just to have the franchise name. So, good? That's a lot of money. You know what? And plus there's a huge risk involved in that. And I'll let Mick, Mick touch on that in a second. But what if there was a proven product already, a proven system, a proven training, would you be more apt to work for yourself? Absolutely. Okay. Please tell me. Good deal. Traditional companies spend 50% of their total revenue on marketing. You see them, drug companies, car companies, fast food companies. If you watch the Super Bowl, <laughs> and what was it, a million dollars for a 30 second, or five million? Five million. Five million dollars for a 30 second commercial. And they weren't even good. Yeah, and just hoping that someone would buy the product. I don't, honestly don't think that's a very good business model myself, but I'm not an expert. You, okay, but, 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 but Beachbody uses a different approach. They have their coaches do the marketing for them. So CBS or Walmart doesn't get paid, I get paid. They do, this, they do this because word of mouth advertising is so much more effective than traditional advertising. Plus it's more efficient. The company only pays for the marketing when the sale has been made. Plus us coaches are proof the products work. Take a look at those pictures. No matter where you're starting, We've committed to make our health a priority in our lives. We share our experiences and support others to do the same. It's that simple, and really, it is that ripple effect that one person can have on so many people. So do you shop at Amazon? Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> so I want you to imagine if Amazon paid out a 25% commission to you just because you recommended a product. Amazon takes care of all the logistics, the shipping, the payment, the tracking, everything. And you get paid for bringing the customer to Amazon. 85% of all buying today is done through word of mouth, period. With direct sales and Beachbody, there's no money being wasted on brick and mortar, inventory, employees, so all the money goes to the person who connects, the person with the product. Stop me anytime. But what I particularly love about Beachbody, unlike anybody else, to be honest, is us coaches take it one step further, and we actually offer support and accountability to those purchasing from us. We care about their outcome, and we want them to succeed. And for those people out there that say this doesn't work, and I mean this with the utmost respect, these are people that just couldn't find a way to make it work for them. It's their opinion. It's not expertise. Okay? Please hear me on that. It's their opinion. They couldn't find a way to make it work for them. Well, and I would love to add something here because we've seen more and more of this in the last couple of years than, than everything combined. So many people have the misperceived notion that because each body is health and fitness oriented, it means you have to be a health and fitness professional or expert, and maybe you've heard that you don't need to be either of those, but do you know you don't even need to have to understand anything about that? I mean, I'm not saying chomping cheeseburgers and eating french fries and selling challenge packs, but if you just are willing to put a foot forward into this type of positive thinking, as far as a little bit cleaner lifestyle, a little bit better choices, and just have that behind you, it's, it's so much easier then to not have all of this stress and pressure on your back of, okay, I, I've got I've to gotta really educate myself about the body. I've got to really educate myself about health and, and uh, nutrition and yada, yada, yada. Instead, it's just, it's a people business. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what you're doing or who you're selling. It, it's all a personal connection. So if you're excited about something naturally, you're going to portray that. You're going to portray that. Whether it's this 
or something else. I mean, I'm sure you're great at your job or you wouldn't have your job, right? So Monday through Friday, you have a list of tasks on, on your desk and, and you don't just dive in and become an expert on everything you do. You know just enough to get the job done right and then progress to the next step, right? So this is nothing different. No, very good. Yeah, no, we, co the only thing coaches are, and some people because of that need, um, get a little scared of it, but all the coaches is, is a support system, and that is all people need to succeed. Um, everybody knows, and I say this all the time, that you just need to eat a little better and you need to exercise. Why do 95% of people fail knowing how simple that is? Because they don't have the support and accountability to have someone tell them that they can do it. They're doing a great job. You slipped up, that's okay, let's start again. That is the key, and that's what makes the difference between you know, 5% of people making it and 100% of people making it because they have that support system and that's all that we are. <clears throat> so, my favorite part. <laughs> Green graphs. Yes, bear with me. So let's move on. I'd like to just brag on what I call our flagship product really fast. I'm kind of a nutrition nerd, so bear with me. But initially, I know people group Shakeology into a category as a protein drink but I'd love to share with you some quick, interesting facts that you probably don't know that I think will help you see Shakeology in a different light. So Isabel and Darren, though the two sitting in that picture, are the co-creators of Shakeology. Carl, the CEO and the, of Beachbody, and the guy that's standing up, explains in this quote how Shakeology was created. So I'm being Carl right now with a high-pitched voice. Hey, Carl. I should have you read it. One day, my wife looked down at the burger I was eating and remarked that I ate like a second grader. It was that comment that led me to ask if she would finally relent after months of turning me down to use her decades of nutrition and wellness experience, designing supplements and shakes for some of the top VIPs in the world to help Beachbody create something special. What I wanted was a shake that I, a self-proclaimed anything but veg a vegetable terrian, could eat. She said yes, and immediately began to brainstorm what the ultimate shake could be. She said it would be whole food based with prebiotics, digestive enzymes, and phytonutrients. And I replied, please just make it taste good enough that I can get it down. So Shakeology is not, not a protein shake. Sure, it has the highest quality protein in it, but it's so much more. Did you know that the whole food ingredients in Shakeology are actually considered raw because they're not dried or heated above the temperature of 115 degrees? How often do you get good raw food in your diet? Now, what about integrity? I love this. Did you know that Beachbody first created vanilla Shakeology back in 2010? And I remember we were there um, at Beachbody Summit, and we were so excited because we knew it was coming. However, this first edition of Vanilla Shakeology was created using FDA natural flavoring loopholes like everyone else in the industry uses. For example, and I hope you had your dinner, using bacterial fermentation of corn and rice bran is considered a natural flavor of vanilla, or using castorium, which is derived from the anal gland of beavers, I'm sorry, can also be used as a natural vanilla flavoring. Who goes looking for <laughs> flavoring in a beaver's butt? <laughs> I'm just... Wait, did you say beaver butt? <laughs> yes, beaver butts. Oh, cool. Right. You better mute yourself. Um, and here's the worst part. The FDA allows companies to hide they're unnatural ingredients by allowing them not to list everything that's in what they produce. Since Beachbody couldn't make a real natural vanilla shake at the time, they decided to never release vanilla shakeology, even, there, though, even though there was a huge demand for it. It wasn't until three years later that vanilla shakeology was finally released when Darren Oline was able to find an abundant and potent vanilla bean source in Madagascar. So in short, Beachbody did not, did not compromise their integrity simply because people wanted a certain flavor. Instead, Beachbody worked to ensure that the Shakeology formula stayed pure. And I remember back in that day, there were people saying, it's okay, 
the FDA approves it, I don't care that it's really not a true natural um, form of vanilla, we still want it. And they said, no, absolutely not. Uh, if it's not pure, it's not Shakeology. So the question I get a lot is, will Shakeology really make a difference in my health? They advertise that it will help you with weight loss, it reduces your junk food cravings, it gives you more energy, and it supports, di supports digestion and regularity. It's a mouthful. Mm. And when you read Shakeology reviews, you'll see the above again and again, plus other things you might not expect at first. For example, getting off of high blood pressure or cholesterol medication. However, people still want to know, has Shakeology been proven to work or if it's FDA approved? Unfortunately, the FDA does not approve any supplements. And coming from a nutrition major, they absolutely should. I wish they would. But they will only approve medications. So maybe I should join the FDA. The flavoring on the vanilla is just, it's a cute little, um, you know, analogy that we chose. But if that's just a flavoring of one drink of 100 different things that they produce, and then what they offer all of the other coaches and how we build a business through trust of one another. This is how tight they are on one flavor of one drink. I mean, it should give you some kind of understanding of what type of company we're asking you to consider. Hmm. So, even with all of those claims, Beachbody still took the time in 2014 to create an independent clinical study of Shakeology. This study was designed to look into the effects of Shakeology without changing anything else about people's lives. There was no diet change, no exercise added, and no other restrictions nor additions added. They just added Shakeology every day. The results speak for themselves. People who drank it every day, and if you look to the left, all of those um, graphs that you see that show 90 days, um, everybody lowered their cholesterol, lowered their blood pressure, and um, many participants reported feeling full by the time lunch still came around. So as I put right here, the shiz works. And I said shiz, young one listening. I said shiz. Okay, so we're almost done. But I couldn't not take a moment to speak from the heart about this team and share how we're different. Team Made was founded in, I might tear up, stop it. Team Made was, fa see, like I, stop it. Team Made was founded in 2008 and we've been unstoppable ever since. We have tens of thousands of coaches from all walks of life in both Canada and the US. We have doctors, fitness professionals, photographers, recovering alcoholics, stay at home moms, lawyers, teachers, you name it, we at least have one. We even signed like broke people. Right. Yeah. Homeless. Homeless. Filing bankruptcy, nowhere to turn, and put thirty nine ninety five on a credit card. That's right. We take science based results and couple it with body positive inspiration. We're a family that encourages and supports one another's goals, whether they be physical, financial, emotional, or all three combined. We have incredible systems in place to where you'll feel confident that you're doing this for yourself, but never by yourself. We've produced millionaires, 100 plus pound weight loss stories, and everything in between. So for every stage of your journey, you'll have a team beside you making sure you reach every goal you set for yourself and for your family. Now, like I mentioned before, you inspire others with your own commitment to your health. We'll teach you to leverage social media to motivate, not sell, to motivate people to make the same changes in their life. And through this process, you not only have the added accountability to keep going, but you also build a business that can be ran from your smartphone. I think I'm kidding. I run my whole business on this little thing. And it creates a residual income doing what you love, which is helping other people. Don't say anything about the team? The team's awesome. Um, all I could think about is when she was going through that, those two little paragraphs is, man, we have everybody from soup to nuts. And it doesn't matter 
if you're just starting your journey and you're in the worst shape of your life and maybe you've never even stepped foot in the gym, it doesn't matter if you're super fit and have like eight pack abs and just, you know, all this, all this, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are. What matters is that there's a family that's, that's willing to take everyone in as an equal. Yeah. And you just, you have to be okay with just understanding to love yourself where you are currently. And it doesn't matter where that is. And we can always work on trying to polish like the best version of you. That's right. Thank you. Well said. So I want to wrap this up by offering some advice to you, to some of you that are considering this jump, which I know can be a scary jump. But in this industry, there's four things that you want to consider. Number one, do you like the products? Meaning, is it something you could recommend to a friend and is there a need for it? Now, it's obvious that obesity and debt are the highest they've ever been. And I wholeheartedly believe that Beachbody can absolutely change both of those for you at the exact same time. Number two, does the company have a good history and is it well run? Now, did you know that Beachbody has an A plus ranking with the Better Business Bureau? You can check it out yourself. And they are only one of five companies in the history of the United States to reach the $1 billion mark while still staying in the United States. Now, I'm not a big business person, but when Carl explained that, I was blown away because I, even me, <laughs> knows that that means that they're, they're, it's incredibly successful um, just in the home front. And, and Beachbody is, is working diligently um, to go international, but even just staying here in the United States and Canada have, have made huge strides in um, changing the lives of, of millions and millions of people. Number three, is the compensation plan good and are people making money from it? Now, this is when I'm going to speak from personal experience. <laughs> I was a stay-at-home mom, and I jumped around for a living. I can, I can verify that. <laughs> I can also verify that she still jumps around. Yes, I do. Now for fun. Uh, but three years ago, I became a part of the Millionaire's Club and was able to bring Mick home from a 70 plus hour work week, which was, um, like I said in the beginning, was my why. But uh, I just wanna say that again, um, as a stay at home mom, and I, my hour of release every day was just to go to the gym um, and to jump around and get some exercise. But I'm saying this as humbly as I can, if I can do this, you can. I be, be careful though, because since then, she's employed me and she works me very hard, <laughs> many, many hours and many days with very few breaks. And being an introvert is fine. Uh, some of you out there, they're going, I don't know if I, you know. If I can introvert is people. awesome. Like, introverts kill it at this business because you guys are real and you're believable. The, the last thing you want to do is try to come off cheesy or salesy because I'm 20 year salesman. And when I came home, she was like, be a coach, sign people up, do what I do, build a business. And I signed all these people up and never heard from them again. When they had to renew, I was like, poof, where'd they go? Can't sell people. You have to yeah, have relationships. Definitely. So number four, is there good support with the company and team? So even without the support of an awesome team like us, you'd be okay. Beachbody has created incredible trainings for every stage of a coach's career from brand new to the very top. But then you add the additional support, accountability, recognition, and tools provided by us in Team Made, and you'll be unstoppable. I promise you have every tool you need. Hashtag spoil factor. A little bit. We try. Spoil, yeah, a little bit. Spoil factor. This business is simple. It takes work, and it takes consistency, but it is simple. Jumps around for a living. It's simple. Yeah. Doesn't get the slide right. <laughs> See? So, is it worth it? It's worth it to be able to change your life again. It's worth it to be able to control your own financial situation. 
It's worth it for the experiences you're going to have. It's worth it for the causes you're going to be able to contribute to. It's worth it for the lives you're going to be able to touch. And it's worth it for the friendships you're going to be able to develop. It's worth it. Don't be in a job that you work just hard enough so they won't fire you and they pay you just enough so you won't quit. Embrace this, be a student of the people above you, be a fellow traveler with the people the same level as you, and be a teacher to the people that are below you. Life is too short to be living at just a fraction of your potential. It's too short to be working for somebody else's dream. Amen. Amen. Amen to the somebody else's dream thing. So like I said at the very beginning, um, there's so much we didn't cover. I didn't want to make this an hour long. I just wanted you to know that from the bottom of my heart, Mick and I know that if given the opportunity to bring you aboard and show you very simple steps that you can take this um, this opportunity and make it a plan B and just start with you making yourself healthy. Um, learn how to put yourself out there a little bit so that you inspire other people to consider to do the same. That this B will become your plan A. And before you know it, um, before you turn around three times, it's been seven and a half years and it becomes a seven figure income and you have no idea where it came from because you were just doing something that you loved anyway and we still do the exact same thing I mean if you had a camera on the wall and it was on fast forward record you would see that nothing's changed I mean we don't we don't do the income increases the size of your team grows exponentially and we, we don't do anything different there's no secret I would love to say there's here it is Get it on. Show you what it is, but th there is there isn't anything. It's just I mean the people the difference between the people that make um, fun income are are the people that are just kind of dabbling, and then the people that make a really good income are the people that have consistency on a part time level, a couple times a day or a couple times a week or something like that for a few hours, and then the people that just nail consistency. It's just more learning a working pattern for them. And that just is consistent no matter what it is. And the longer the length of consistency, the higher the income. It's, I mean, it's that simple. Right. And I just want to close by saying you need to take better care of yourself anyway. Right? You need to exercise need to and eat better anyway. You get along better. You chase each other around the house a little bit more. You do all that kind of fun stuff just by being happy and healthy. So we would love the opportunity to welcome you to the team and really appreciate the fact that you hopefully DVR your favorite TV show. I know he's missing American Idol right now. Um. <laughs> it's the last season. I can't give up now. I mean, I know it's lame. So uh, please connect um, with your coach that invited you um, and ask all the questions. I know they would love to share with you. And um, I really, truly hope I get the opportunity to welcome you to the team and see you on one of the many trips that we get the opportunity to do together. All right, you guys, where? Stop the share. Everybody wave. Thank you. Fantastic. Bye, guys. <laughs>